Cody here. So I'm actually currently on a swarm call going to get a uh, swarm of honeybees. Uh, they were on a sagebrush over in Twilla and I'm uh, going to go pick them up. Uh, my dad's actually closer and uh, he was going to go and get them for me. So he's got a box he's going to put the bees in the box. And uh, he'll probably have them all wrapped up by the time I get there. But yeah, I want to take that box of bees and I want to put them you know, over the house, probably next to that other hive I've got. And uh, this time I want to put a time-lapse camera on them. I want to time-lapse their uh, progress through building the columns. So, yep, he got the bees. He put them in this box with a screen, which is excellent. You can see they are indeed honeybees. Judging by the weight of that, that feels like a pretty big swarm. I didn't get to film the capture of the swarm, but it probably went a lot like this. Piece of cake. Yeah. All right, just about got the hive set up here. Here's my box of bees. Calm. Queen must be in there. So I've heard they're incredibly gentle when they're swarming like this. Is that true? Yeah, I probably wouldn't get away with this if it was an active hive in the fall. So this camera is made for taking pictures of like deer and stuff, so like, you know, getting pictures at night from across the field. And so the flash is much too bright. And so I've got me some little pieces of paper that I've cut out, which will block most of the flash. That way the camera doesn't just blind itself. See how that works. Okay. I'm just gonna set that right in there. Put the feeder in next to it. Well, you can see bees. That's not bad. Uh, it's a little close up. It'd be nice if it was a little farther away, but I think that'll do. I'm just gonna give them some sugar water. We're gonna close up the hive. That was ice, by the way. It was too hot, so I had to cool it down. So before you close it, why are these guys all on the light? Oh, they think they're trapped in something, and that's the way out. So this is actually good because I can collect them and put them back in the hive. I've got this piece of cardboard on the front here. That's just to keep them in the hive tomorrow. I don't want them flying out freely for a little while until they get situated. And I'll just get some duct tape and tape that on. Reuse, reduce, and recycle. They can still breathe, but they're trapped in there. Got 
way they don't decide to go and swarm somewhere else. I mean, they may decide that. They can't. <laughs> we have one more brick we can set on top. I'm pretty sure we do. Oh, cool. There we go. So here is the time lapse. Each photo is taken 10 minutes apart and displayed at a rate of 10 per second. The little white number in the bottom right corner is the number of days since catching the swarm. I'm sorry if the digital compression is bad. There's sort of a lot of stuff moving around. But you can see the bees moving towards the camera. It seems they abandoned the starter comb I give them and are moving towards the center of the space, thus closer to the camera. At some point I rearranged things so the camera is farther back. This is also when I took the cardboard off the hive. Now the video is probably pretty boring because the bees are covering everything and we can't see through them, so I'm going to speed up the video a bit. What they are doing is building wax combs and the queen is laying eggs. The bees cluster around to provide heat to incubate the eggs and soften wax. As the hive gets bigger, the bees get more spread out and we catch glimpses of the new wax combs. One thing I think is cool is you can see the cycle where the combs are alternately covered and exposed. This is because as it gets colder at night, they prioritize keeping the eggs warm. Now that we're nearing the end of the time lapse, you can see the wax combs much more often, and so I've slowed the video back down. You can actually see the bees building them. It almost looks like crystals growing. It's amazing to watch these industrious insects at work. Another thing I've noticed from this is you can actually sometimes see the bees sleeping inside the cells. They crawl inside and they take a little nap and then go back to work. The bees will continue building combs out like this until they no longer have enough bodies to keep the hive at 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius. This temperature is what is needed to keep the eggs warm enough to hatch and for the young bees to develop. Since this swarm was fairly large, they will probably continue building combs and expanding the hive for another week or two before they are forced to direct their attention to raising the young. The comb building will resume once the young bees reach adulthood and start populating the hive again but this extreme rate of comb building may never return because the bees will be diverting their resources elsewhere. Okay, just open these up, set that over there. Here's the camera. It's probably doing just fine. Let's turn it off. Yes. Go to playback. Now there's 2,000 images. That's a good sign. All right, so let's uh, turn that off. Let's actually uh, do a little hive inspection here. I can see they've got comb built up as expected. That's good. Everything looks straight. Let's pull off the inner cover. Nothing on that frame. Looks like they've built on one, two, three, four, five frames so far. They're getting in lots of nectar. It's a good sign. It's a little off center from the board, but it's not quite a problem yet. I may have to do some comb manipulations in a little while though. I think for now I'm just going to space out the frames just a little bit. But let's get in there, have a look, make sure they've got eggs. I know they've got an active queen because if they didn't, they wouldn't be building combs. Yes, these fresh combs are very soft right now, so you got to make sure to hold them so they don't uh, get leverage and break off. I see some eggs and larvae. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get a picture of those real quick so I can add it into the video. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell because they're the same color of the wax. But if you look down in there, you can see there's some eggs. I think that cell right there that one right in the center and over here underneath these bees you can see there's a little bit of uh, royal jelly and a small larva the uh, young bees get fed royal jelly for the first couple of days of their life uh, then they move on to bee bread which is a mixture of honey and pollen 
uh, the queen gets fed to royal jelly her whole life. So there's a little bit of bee trivia. So there's not a lot of brood just yet. They're just storing mostly honey at this point. So I'm not going to bother to feed them anymore. This queen might not be any good. There is eggs, but I don't see any larva that's older than a few days. Fortunately, I have a spare queen back home, so we might not have a problem. Could be they're just getting a lot of nectar and they don't have anywhere to put the eggs, because they've been storing nectar instead. So I'm going to give these guys a little bit of a space here, so that they bring those combs back into alignment. And then I guess I will go review the footage and then replace the camera. So I just got done reviewing the footage, looks like everything was good. And uh, now I'm just looking at this hive here. Now these guys are, I think, actually into the point where they're starting to build comb again. You can see it's uh, more yellow towards the center because it's older. And it's more dirty and they've got a new white rind around the edges where they are starting to build new comb. So good, we got uh, new bees hatching out on this hive. Let's just set that up like that for now. See, as long as you keep them in this orientation, they will be fine. Also, since this is a little older, it's a little bit stronger. But you look down in here, you see all this capped brood? Looks like some of them have even been hatching out. Look at that. That is beautiful. Let's pull this frame out of there. You see they're not building onto the sides of the box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this hive's doing really nice. All right, well, I'm gonna put this back together. I'll water the flowers. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time.